Hi guys, welcome back to the Lara Studios. We'll be forging ahead. We need to integrate the lazy loading or the continuous loading into the popular movies uh, fetch. Our API actually supports that. It supports pagination, uh, which uh, from the documentation, you could see that we have uh, the space for page, which takes an integer uh, where you could specify which page to query. It has a minimum of one to a maximum of 1,000. Sometimes, for example, the popular uh, page or the popular movies has up to over 3,000 pages. So imagine how enormous that could be. Definitely a user can never scroll to the end. But a user will have ability to keep scrolling and seeing videos uh, to actually uh, watch. So now we're, we'll be integrating this into our, our project, which uh, we've uh, actually started uh, in the, uh, the previous uh, videos. And uh, we're going to be talking about specific uh, classes uh, which uh, is going to be affected in this. Uh, firstly is the view, definitely. Uh, the service, you need to adjust it. In the repository, you need to integrate the page. While the view model too, you need to keep track of uh, the, the pages fetched. So let's get to it. From the service, we need to include the query page over here, which is an integer, the same response you get, just that uh, you can now specify the page you want or you keep iterating through. It's one, two, three, and, and here, here you have. Now in the repository, what you're going to do, you need to also include the page uh, attribute or parameter which is also an integer, you pass it to the service so that it's actually going to get that running. In the view model, you need to also do that, but now there's a little twist. Uh, for example, the first um, fetch, which are actually probably fetch like 10 videos uh, or movies, uh, you're going to just, we only have this little chunk here. That's why I just commented it so that you see uh, the new implementation. Now the new implementation now is you have a method called the fetch popular, which takes in an API key as a string. Fine. You wonder what about the movie page? Now we have that counting in the view model where we have it as a movie page, a counter that's a start of one. Now, are you going to move further from each one of it? We have another helper class, a helper method rather, called save movie call. It takes an API key and the movie page, which is right as a global variable in the view model. So what's it gonna do? It takes these two parameters and it posts uh, to um, to the live data, the, uh, the situation on ground, probably it's loading, or if there's an exception, uh, probably an error exception, or a conversion error. But now uh, we're going to actually put cognizance in when the success actually happen, what's going to happen. So you call on the fetch popular from the repository, you pass in the two parameters, API key and page. And uh, while posting the value, you, we have a helper function, a helper method that takes care of the response because that's where you need to actually know which pages are calling and how you're going to add them, sum, up, sum them up together so that the uh, adapter keeps uh, showing or keeps gracefully, you know, showing content. The undo order response, what's it going to do? It takes the response, which is the result for each call. Now, um, you're going to test if it's successful. Okay. And uh, what you're going to do, you increment the movie page, which is the counter. You know, initially it will be one. When you have a plus plus, that turns it to two. But at first, if the movie list response, which is the response you got, is null, definitely you know that's the first call. So uh, the response will be returned immediately for the first call. But the second call, the response will never be null at that point in time. So you move to the else statement where you need to uh, know the old movies and the new movies. The old movie movies will be based on the latest response you have, which is the movie list response. You call the list, which is movies, because it's a list inside uh, the, 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 the class called uh, response. And uh, you convert that to array list because a list, you, you can actually add lists. You need an array list to actually do that or a linked uh, list 
to 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 merge to merge lists together or immutable lists and then when you feel like using now the new move is what's going to happen now you now have a response that's a new response which is the result response that's a new response that you'll be getting i call the movies as the array list which is the new one you actually are fetching so what are you going to do you're going to add all of those movies that's the add the old one to the new one basically that's just it which you have the adder because it's a list and you're adding another list to it so you now return the result which is the result response you're returning as uh the valid or the true source of data at that point in time so if you have 10 fetched uh when you are iterating through you fetch the next 10 so now the next 10 adds up to 10 make making it 20 when you're fetching a new one another 10 adds up to 20 making it 30 so it keeps incrementing it like that so and it's going to keep record it's going to keep that and the live data keeps aware because you're using a view model that's actually going to uh, you know preserve data when the life cycle or the activity is still right alive so that's just it you can see very quite simple straightforward you know this would the way to go about it when you're using the web viewing approach and at the same time you're just doing uh internet alone you know but if you're trying to use the database to keep track of it you could use the paging library uh we could do that uh in subsequent videos and if you actually want that i uh, will use the page library to actually get uh the list loading keep coming and coming and coming so for this now it's cool it's fine but you need to still do some things in the view itself what are you going to do we need to know at what point are you going to keep fashion at what point you know uh it's probably going to be or uh, when the user scrolls down to the bottom that's to the last item in the list so you should be aware that oh the user has actually scrolled down and uh, definitely there should be a call for the second page so that this really shows uh underneath again once it scrolls down again you call another one once it scrolls down again you call another one so you need to actually know that how are you going to go about that you can get that through the recycler view and the recycler view there is an uh uh there is uh a class or let's say a helper uh out of the box called on scroll listener on scroll listener so you need to override it and you get the on scrolled so from there you you could get the the vertically scrolled so you can know at what last point are we so from there you could write okay you could you could implement your logic there so from there you could just uh keep counter which starts from one and you want to know the total pages because uh so that you don't keep showing these you keep calling you keep triggering when there's nothing to actually fetch anymore so how are you going to do it most times apis comes with the total pages that they have available so uh even if you are using a custom api you could actually uh request that from the backend developer now please can you please let me know how what are the total pages for this particular call because you're going to be using that and uh from there this is the way you get it uh the movie db api also have the total pages uh you call the value which is the total page to save that because that's just an integer value and uh from there you could use it use compare if the counter at that point in time is less than or equals to total pages if it is can you please uh call the fetch popular again pass in your api key and the vim model is going to actually take cognizance of incrementing it for you but you also need to increment out the view you need to increment the counter because it keeps counting up it keeps counting up it keeps counting until it gets the total pages so you got to stop uh fetching because there's nothing to actually fetch anymore it will be uh unnecessary to just keep poking uh the uh server so with that uh you could keep uh that clean and tidy and uh everything will be done perfectly so i'm going to show you this and how it's uh, going to actually look you could do this with grid you could do it with staggered grid you could do it with linear uh linear, linear the linear layout which is the linear manager so you could actually implement that with it and it's very very efficient so uh let's quickly look at uh what we have here movies up all right and um, let's see what we're going to find we have the first fetch all right all right 
can see it keeps going uh, the loader is right on top and it keeps going keeps fetching when it gets to the bottom it keeps going okay, so the loader I'm using uh, the horizontal loader you can see you keep scrolling and you keep scrolling so far you have internet connectivity it keeps going and keeps going and you can see how efficient this looks very, very efficient we could have enormous videos or movies to actually play around with and look at so that's just it thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout this particular session in the next video we'll be extending further we'll be uh, looking at the navigation components let's bring it into play uh, let's try to uh, uh, break down our implementation let's have a standalone activity and let the, the, the fragments take over the, or let the fragment take the show so we're going to actually be breaking down uh, we'll be having a fragment to handle this particular page and our detail page will be coming which will also be handled with a fragment uh, where we're going to be uh, using the navigation link uh, to actually uh, pass to the detail page and um, we're going to be having uh, the ability to even have um, other forms of uh, movie, uh, probably the most rated and, uh, and uh, probably also the most watched. So you're going to have that right there in the overflow menu. So you could just click on the overflow and switch, uh, play, switch to demonstrated and this particular view changes to demonstrated. And I'll make sure that the title also depicts what it is so that we will know where exactly uh, we are. So that's just it. We'll be extending further and we'll be playing around with uh, the Jetpack com the Jetpack uh, library and we'll be doing a lot of stuff around it so that we'll be able to understand how to use this uh, awesome implementation uh, in different implementation you have in your Android project. Thank you guys and bye-bye for now.